from Slovenia's superstar. To Miami's all-star. I'm just out here chilling in the stars. The all-stars? I always dream of this moment and it's finally here. It wasn't always easy. When I came to the league, I was really struggling. I was thinking that I'm not good enough. But now, the dragon is flying high. I always ran 100%. That's the way I'm wired. It's not wasting any time behind the back. Finger roll. Got it up and in. And sharing what he's learned along the way. The message is believe, believe in your dreams. Pretty crossover. And finish. There's your all-star right there. I want to stay here as long as possible. I, I want to finish career here. Inside the heat, Goran Dragic. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Inside the Heat. I'm your host, Jason Jackson. This has truly been the year of the Dragon. Miami Heat point guard Goran Dragic has ignited this season, guiding the Heat on its latest playoff push. But Goran's incredible year started off with his annual trip home to Slovenia over the summer, where he competed for the Slovenian national team in the Eurobasket Championship. With plans to retire from the national team, Goran gave it his all for one last shot at history. It's tough to describe that feeling and what it means. In our basketball history, we never, we, we never won uh, any medals. And this was our first one. The one that gold medal in Slovenia history. And that was something special. But um, you know, the whole Slovenia was cheering for us. And I was really happy that um, you know, this was my last game for, for my country. Goran put on a memorable performance, scoring 35 points in the close game against Serbia and was named the Eurobasket MVP. What was going through your mind as the clock's ticking down and it's clear you all are winning? You know, I was nervous. It was close games and um, I still remember I was sitting on the bench and um, I just looked down to my shoe, I, I just start praying, tried to win those last three minutes and in the end, as soon as the ref whistled at the end of the game, I was so relieved, so happy. The first trophy that, that I won in my career and especially from the country. You retired from the national team as a Eurobasket champion. Was yeah. that the plan? Were you going to do that yeah. anyway? Anyway, before the Eurobasket, I, I said to the whole media that this is going to be my last um, main event for national team that I'm going to retire after and you know I think so that's the best the end story on national team career when the team arrived back in Slovenia thousands of fans were waiting at the airport to welcome the Eurobasket champions home it was like 30,000 people as soon as we land, they're waiting on, on the main square and, um, you know, we have a good time with them. Oh, Capitan! Oh, Capitan! They were cheering the whole three hours. We get on stage, we talk a little bit and, um, you know, dance together. Well, it was fun. Gorn was then recognized in a way that was completely unexpected. He was honored with receiving the jersey of his basketball hero. Drazen Petrovic. When we won the gold medal, his mom approached me and she gave me Drazen Petrovic's jersey. She said, this is jersey for you because I, I saw Drazen Petrovic on, in you. Not like as a, as a player, but as a, as a person, how I led the team to, to gold medal. Petrovic was a Croatian basketball player who paved the way for European basketball players in the NBA. Petrovic was involved in a fatal car accident that took his life in the middle of his career.
in res poklon še enkrat legendi svetovne košarke in naj počiva v miru. I think so that was the first time I cry in front of the cameras and because it, it means so much to me, you know, that um, that somebody put my name next to Drajan. Goran remembers his home in Slovenia and makes it a point to give back to a country that's given him so much. I got you. But he's embraced Miami as his city and continues to serve the community that surrounds him. Nice, nice. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Nice meeting you, Roman. Here is a lot of different cultures in, in Miami, and I really like that. You know, you can connect with different cultures, with different people, and um, they're really uh, fired up. You know, they really have that passion. Then you feel, uh, and uh, Miami is such a great destination, and it's a little bit closer to Europe. And it's a lot of Slovenian fans here too. Really? Yeah, they That's come awesome. at, every game. I see like two or three, four Slovenian flags. I'm originally from Serbia, and it's always in your mind, you know, can I be something like you know, those, those players that you see on TV? And it's just like you know, amazing to meet somebody, especially because he's from overseas in Europe where I'm from. I'm really proud that I can be a part of this culture, of this city, and uh, Miami Heat organization. So I really feel like at home. Um, basically, it's not, it's not even adopted home anymore. It feels like at home. Welcome back to Inside the Heat. Goran Dragic had a fantastic summer leading his home country of Slovenia to its first ever Eurobasket championship. Heat Nation hoped that momentum would carry over in Miami. But before Goran could begin his fourth season with the Heat, he had to tackle training camp just two days after flying back to South Florida. Right after Eurobasket, you came in right to camp. How tired were you? Now I can be honest. <laughs> um, I was really tired. The toughest part was the media. You had to lie to all of us. Yeah, I had to lie time. a little bit. I, I, I really apologize for that. The best way to, to prevent the jet lag is to practice. But when Eric Spolster tried to limit his point guard on the second day of training camp, Goran had other ideas. I had to, to catch him a couple times, trying to sneak in the scrimmage. <laughs> I did sneak, sneak in a couple of, <laughs> couple of times, and Queenie, Queenie was like a shadow behind me. Jeez. I tried to be on the floor because it's not fair to my team if I just stay on the sideline and not to go to that grind with them. That mentality is one of the many attributes that earned Goran the title of team captain, an honor he cherishes. It means a lot, um, you know, especially in this kind of organization. They already won three championships, and um, they had so many great players here. UD, he's the perfect captain to have. And now, of course, D-Wade is back, so those guys are, are guys who lift this franchise on their shoulders. Everybody was looking to Gorn um, because he's, he's ready for that next step. I was really happy that um, they see me as a player who can lead the team. You mentioned Dwayne. He was here your first couple of years, and yeah. you guys seemed to grow very close. Yeah. Uh, your feelings about having him back? That jersey number three is, is a huge part of this team, of this city. And, um, you know, it's really nice to have him back, especially for this team. His experience, he can help us a lot. So hopefully we're going to you know, make playoffs and do some great stuff together. Goran's already done great stuff in Miami. Last season, he notched 20.3 points per game, the highest scoring average of his career. Dragic for three. He's still perfect. Seven of seven from downtown. In his 10th NBA season, the Dragon is continuing to add to his arsenal. And the league's noticed, naming him Eastern Conference Player of the Week twice. On the court, man, he's... He's, he's, uh, he's ahead of our snake. Down to three, down to two, a long three. Oh, Dragon breathing some fire into Miami's offense. Some of the things that he's able to do on the basketball court. Like, it's just that, I got to scratch my head. Dragic goes in, oh, little show and go, up and in. And he absolutely mesmerized Jared Allen. You have fun and celebrate the success of your teammates all the time. But there is this toughness factor to you. 
uh, particularly when you were driving to the basket. Dragic, he's not wasting any time behind the back. Finger roll. Got it up and in. I believe Eric and Tony refer to it as the iron shoulder. <laughs> Dragic spinning the other way. Bumps with favors. Put it in. The iron shoulder works again. There it is. The iron shoulder. The iron shoulder is crazy. The biggest guys be falling down when you get on the shoulder. Where does that toughness come from? I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, maybe from my dad and my mom. As a kid, I lose my tooth. I broke my nose. I was never crying a lot. But now I know why you don't freak out if a tooth comes flying out. No, nah, yeah. You've done that. I've done that so many times. <laughs> I think so, like five or six times that I'm already used to it. Dragic, oh, he just got his tooth knocked out. Oh, boy, he just swung that right elbow, caught him right in the nose. Dragic taking a shot to the face. Did he lose another tooth? Yeah, that's happened several times yeah. to Dragic. He's out there getting beat up every game, but he doesn't take practices off. I always went 100%. Yeah. That's the way I'm wired, and that's the way I'm playing. You know, even when I'm driving, if I see a big guy, I'm never going to get scared. Green is one of the best defenders in the NBA. He goes right at him, full speed. He's just not afraid. It's not much that's going to keep Goran out of a out of a ball game. You know, he gets a black eye and he shows up to the, the practice the next day, you know, ready to go. He's so fearless and, and, and will, will go out there and do anything to win. It's, it's great. That willingness to lay it all on the line is admired by teammates and fans alike. But for Goran, it's all about helping his team win, a team that means so much to him. I want to stay here as long as possible. I, I want to finish career here, here if it's possible, but um, it's such an honor to play for this team. Welcome back to Inside the Heat. In his 10th NBA season, Goran Dragic's performance on the court is thriving like never before. A tri-captain leading his team, he has been individually shining and has even been recognized receiving multiple awards. To Heat Nation, his teammates and coaches, he was having an all-star caliber year. And soon, the rest of the league would agree. Dragic, wide open look and got it all from downtown. Pretty crossover. And finish. Oh man, there's your all-star right there. I think he's an all-star. He's ready for that. I think his teammates want him to be that. He's ready to take the next step of leadership and play with this organization. That next step would come in January when Gorn was selected to replace Kevin Love due to injury in the 2018 All-Star Game. The Goran Dragic finally gets his due. This marks the first NBA All-Star selection for Dragic, who becomes the first player from Slovenia to earn the honor. You learned that you were an all-star with your teammates and coaches and staff. It was a joyous explosion, was it not? Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, it was kind of a funny story, too. I was on the bus and I was watching my brother's game on my phone. And uh, Mike uh, Lisek is sitting next to me. He was always, like, looking at me, like... He, and I was like, what's up, Mike? Well, what is going on? And he's like, no, no, nothing, nothing. So he was checking if I if I was looking at my phone. If a report popped yeah, up and you yeah, saw the report. notification. Right? And then we came into the gym and Spo is like, got another guy. <laughs> I was in shock. All the players was jumping on me. It was really a tremendous joy for me. I'm just out here chilling in the stars. <laughs> the All Stars. <laughs> yeah. Tell me how it feels to be an all-star, baby. It feels unbelievable. Especially going to LA with my guy Wayno, who's going to win the three-point contest. My man. Did you enjoy the reaction from outside? I was really happy. Even before that, when I found out, you know, D Way tweeted a couple of times that I should be an all-star. So thank you, D. And uh, yeah. For, to everybody, thank you guys for support. What does it mean to you to be the first NBA All-Star from Slovenia? It means a lot. It means that um, you know I'm building my legacy as a professional basketball player. You know, it's a huge honor for me, for my family, and you know, it's always nice to be a first one. So it's, it's awesome. 
And so, after 714 NBA games, 145 international league contests, and 91 FIBA matches, Gorn was finally an all-star and made his way to L.A. for a weekend of festivities. His first stop was to visit the Basketball Without Borders global camp featuring top international players. Good job, good job. It means a lot to me to be here. You know, I know those players, they're coming from the same environment. They're international players, so it's always nice to connect and to give them some advice. One, two, three. The next day, Team LeBron held their open practice in front of fans and media. What are you going to do to bring a victory for Team LeBron? I want to... I want to dunk once. <laughs> and it was there that Gorn was able to get to know his teammates. Everybody's such a great player. Just to be part of that team is something unbelievable for me. As the excitement started to build for the big game, Gorn made it a point to have his family in L.A. alongside him. Why did you want to have that kind of family affair experience? Of course, uh, it was really something that I, that I accomplished, but I could not accomplish with my parents. They give me everything when I grow up. And of course, my wife, she's always there. I want to cherish this moment as a family. And we had a good time. His good times continued on All-Star Saturday night as he stopped by to support his fellow teammate, Wayne Ellington, in the three-point shooting contest. Who you got for the three-point contest? I have to go with my man, Wayne Ellington. He's making it Wayne now. And finally, it was time for Goran's first ever All-Star moment. This is the highlight of my career, definitely. And I always dream of this moment, and it's finally here. First time All-Star from the Miami Heat. Give it up for Goran Dragon! It was not my plan to win an MVP or to score 20 or 30 points. I said to myself, OK, G, go out there, have fun, enjoy. Goran Dragic has checked in for the first time. As soon as I uh, make that shot, I said, okay, yeah, we good. <laughs> Gorn played 11 minutes and was a part of Team LeBron's victory, ending his successful All-Star weekend on a high note. The whole day experience uh, with the Team LeBron, the first All-Star game for me in my life was an amazing feeling, and I'm honored to be here. Welcome back to Inside the Heat. Goran Dragic earned his way to all-star status. As has been the case his whole career, Goran works hard at his craft and has had to climb steep mountains to reach the place he is at now. But little did Goran know what else we were able to discover about him. Now, something uh, some folks might not... Yes, ma'am? Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. I've Where you guys got that book? Oh, no. This, <laughs> this is what we want to talk about right here. Uh, not many people know Goran Dragic, the author. And so tell us about the idea behind Goran, Legend of the Dragon. What was, what was the inspiration behind the book? So, uh, you know, this is the, basically is the, it's the fairy tale, mm -hmm. but it's half of the fairy tale is the true story. Your story? Yes. Okay. My story. So basically this is the basketball court in my neighborhood okay. when I was growing up and basically when I first started playing basketball with my friends. And the story it says that um, I was not good enough, that I always play on this second hoop because the first hoop was um, the good hoop. You know, the, everybody who was good enough, they, all the best players, they play on the, on the basketball number one. So, I, you know, I, I was practicing in this basketball number two and then my dragons came and they tried to develop my game. And I challenged um, all those best players with my dragons on the first hoop, and we won. And basically, it's a really cool fairy tale for the kids. And um, you know, the message is believe, believe in your dreams. Nobody can take away those dreams from you as long as you believe in your dreams and work hard. That mindset was developed by a young Gorn as it was put to the test early in his career. When you think back to your rookie year, and you think about that kid and what he was dealing with to adjust versus yeah. this man who's sitting here now what best helped you then that still resides in you now as a player always to stay positive because um, you know at that at that age when I came to the league I was really struggling first year and um, at the one point I was thinking that I'm not good enough you thought you shouldn't have left Europe. yeah yeah that I want to go back to Europe. Gorn leaned on many for advice, but few left an impact like that of Steve Nash and former Heat guard Dan Marlin. 
It's always tough for kids coming from overseas. And, you know, I, I knew Gorn was going to be a, a star and a good player right away only because uh, of his work ethic. So I just told Gorn to just keep working. They were there for me and telling me, be patient. You're going to get better. And when your opportunity going to come, you need to take advantage. Dragic comes baseline with a reverse. And you can see, give me the confidence in Goran Dragic as this season has gone on. I cannot tell you how different this kid looks. Basically, everything what they said happened until this day. I understand that um, not every day is going to be a good day, but you, you need to be positive and work, and the good day is going to come. You got this? <laughs> Huh? Whether through his efforts in the community, both here and in Slovenia, or on the court, winning Euro Sportsman of the Year, Goran has earned the respect and admiration of his teammates and coaches. Gogi is the man. Uh, everybody has this attraction to Gogi just because of how he is and you know, who he is as a person, first and foremost. But then he brings it every day. Just the spirit uh, and the energy, the competitiveness and the leadership that he showed. He doesn't get the recognition definitely that he deserves for how good of a player that he is. He's, in my opinion, he's a top five point guard in the NBA based off of what he contributes to a team and how he makes other people better while still doing his job. I couldn't be happier with a guy. You know, he's underappreciated for sure around this league, but I know what he's about. I know that, um, you know, fourth quarter, when it's time to really get after it, I know that he's going to be leading the charge and giving this team all he has. Dragic lets it fly. Come on, there you go, baby. <laughs> what a fourth quarter for Gordon Dragic. When you see a guy of his character, a guy who cares about the community, his teammates, and about winning, uh, when guys like that succeed, uh, you're very happy. So where do you go from here? You win a championship for your nation, you're an all-star now. NBA championship. There you go. That was always the number one goal in my career. But, um, you know, you can see it. it's, uh, it's a lot of teams in this league, 400 and something best players in the planet. It's not easy, but why not? It's clear that the tough road has brought Gorn an appreciation for the game he loves, and he continues setting new goals for himself. Today, as an all-star point guard, he is embraced, loved, and respected by his teammates, both here and in Slovenia. Gorn is a true example of working for your dreams, and we hope to continue being a part of all of it as he betters himself both on and off the court. Thank you so very much for watching this edition of Inside the Heat. I am Jason Jackson.